What is up everybody? It's me, the one and only, Govinda Arjun, bringing you another tutorial on Roblox on a button effect. This one's going to take uh, not that much time. It's really easy. Let me show you what we've made and what you're going to be making. Pop, 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 pop. Here you go. This is your cool little button effect right here. It's easy to make. Let's do it. So first we're just going to put this into server storage. With a starter GUI, we're going to start from the basics, go over to your advanced objects menu, and we're going to pop in a, if I can find it, a screen GUI. Go into screen GUI, we're going to pop in a, if I can find it, a text button. And we'll just style that up, all that good stuff. Choose your color, this time we're going to go with green. Uh, make it look this, 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 this. I'm gonna lower it down a little bit. Bring it down, bring it up. Boom. Set the border size pixel, pixel to zero. I'm gonna call it button. Text color, whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna change it to source sans light. That's the font. Make it a size bigger, size 18. And there we go. How about positioning? We're going to keep the same size, 200 by 50. These are on the offset. This goes by pixels, I'd imagine. And we're going to set it 50%. Subtracted 100 give, would give us the middle of the screen on the uh, X, X dimension. And 50% subtract 25 will give us that and the Y dimension. So now we have our text button, let's insert a local script into, if I can find it, the text button. Remove this print hello world, we're going to reference text button, call that btn equals script.parent. Then we're going to do btn.mouseButton1down, oops, connect function, boom, there we go, we have our basic uh, function thingy. Now what we're going to do is find an image, a circular image, which I will link in the description so you guys can go ahead and pick that up and pop it in. It'll appear here. What we're going to do is do we're going to reference a new image label. We're going to instantiate it into text button image label following here. We are we following along here. So now we just do image image dot background transparency equals one image dot border size. I know it gets a little bit boring, but we got to do all this. Zero, my bad. Oh, okay. Image dot what else? What else? Image dot image img dot image we're gonna load the image in here go back to the deep the uh little image here we loaded in here and copy that boom paste it in here now image dot size we're gonna make it you them to that new and zero to like like 200 right zero by 200 image dot position equals you them to uh, zero, 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 all four zeros. Make it easy on you guys and gals. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cheat here and go back to this previous one that I made. And this is what we had over there so far. And I'm just going to copy all the way down here and explain it, what I did. Instead of trying to come up with this uh, method again. Okay, so what we did was parent image to our button. Then we used Roblox's built-in uh, anim um, what do you call it? Two-dimensional animating system. They call it tween tweening, uh, and they use their old fancy algorithms that they borrowed from some guy whose name I forgot. And uh, we're using the tween size and position, so it's animating the size and position to wherever we want it. We're using uh, an easing direction of out. Uh, an easing style of linear, which is the basic, just going from one one spot to the next, no fanciness, no slowing down, nothing like that. 
and then we're going to have it do that within the time frame of 0.5 seconds. Now, for the uh, image transparency, we want to animate that also for this text, this uh, button text effect. My bad, button effect. And to keep it in sync with the position and size animation, we want to make sure that it is fading out and in sync. So what I did was I know that uh, Roblox's built-in weight function is about 1 34th second. So I just divided that by, yeah, let me pull up a calculator, 134, that's 0 0.20 whatever, times, my bad, not times, divided by 0 0.5, and that's 0 0.05 approximately. So that's why I had it increment, the, uh, so that's the for loop is incrementing by 0 0.05 and it works out perfectly fine. Now you'll notice here that it says that I'm starting from 0 0.1 because if I start from a solid transparency, image transparency, if I start from 0 instead of 0 0.1 it's not going to look good. It's going to cover up our text which was button. If you see right here. This would be covered up at the beginning and that wouldn't look very good. Hold up. Okay, here we go. I think that is good. We are set to go. I hope you guys understood everything here. If you have any questions, make sure to, you know, uh, message me on YouTube or Roblox. I'll see what I can do. And you, right now you can see a whole bunch of craziness is going on here. This is why developers always debug and fix them so their things they test and debug so what went wrong here i'll tell you what went wrong we forgot to adjust the color of the um of the image button back in image position zero ah here we go it was not points it was point five because we wanted to be in the middle of the screen at the very beginning so it doesn't look like it's being dragged up and dragged to the side it needs to come up in the middle and then spread out like a like a flood we we'll call this the flood uh button effect flood button effect that's what people are calling it that's what i'm calling it if if you guys know the proper name feel free to tell me so now that's fixed, we need to change the color. We didn't want it to be white. Let's let's make it about the text button's color. We'll just copy and do, 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 put it right here. Image dot image color three equals color three. If you don't understand the methods I'm using right here, these are all things you can find on the Roblox wiki. If you also have any you know minor questions, feel free to ask me. As always, I'll see if I can respond. So now that we have that in a three test and see if we can get a proper effect going all right so that's not good <laughs> okay all right so what did we do wrong huh so 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 size 0 perfect we had we we have to put the Starting size to zero 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 so that it comes out from nothing and expands and fades out in the end So there we go. It looks pretty fine But what the heck why is he going outside of the button if you can see the edges here? That's an entirely different effect on its own. I'm sure some people like that, but that's not what we want to do here So just this has no coding involved in it. Just go over the text button Go down and just check on clip descendants also, you don't need this anymore, just delete that. And then let's test it again. And ta-da, it works. Let's make a few adjustments. Like, we don't need this odd button color, it's just gonna mess everything up. And then go back here. Uh, I'm just gonna do... Let me just... Dim this down a little bit. Don't dim yours down... Um, yet. Click uh, Control Z to undo that. Shoot. Click all of it. Click on back. There we go. Get that same color back because we want to make the uh, overlay here. We're going to make this a little bit darker. 
255, 255, 255, 255, 255, and let's do this, and voila, it looks amazing, it uh, works perfectly fine, it uh, deletes itself when it's finished fading out, it's all in the code, I'm sure there's a more efficient way of doing it, but this way is the way I came up with within uh, 5 minutes. I hope you guys really enjoyed this and uh, you know you can send me a link to what you made using this effect. I'd be more than happy to look at it. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe or like. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.